Today, Senator Abiola Ajun will be flagged off a free medical treatment for the people of your state. In his effort to fulfill his electionary campaign promises to the people of your state, the state governor, Senator Abiola Ajumabi, has flagged up a free health program to be enjoyed by the people of your state. This initiative brings back to memory late Chief Obafe Miawolowo of the defunct Unity Party of Nigeria, of which one of its cardinal programs was free health for all. While addressing the beneficiaries at the Baden North local government headquarters, in the company of the Deputy Governor of Oshun State, Mrs. Titi Laoye Tomori, who was in Oyo State to commiserate with the state government over the recent flood disaster, Senator Abiola Ajimobi said, The aim of the program is to assist the less privileged and make life more conducive for the people through field health services. He noted that 52 medical doctors and 55 nurses were mobilized to offer free treatment for the public. Senator Ajimobi explained that the program is expected to cover treatment for diabetics, hypertension, eye and teeth problems, pregnancy care, and general health problems coupled with free drugs. Glasses <laughs> The Ocean State Deputy Governor, Mrs. Titi Lao Yetomori, also cancelled some of the beneficiaries on the importance of family planning and child spacing. Joba, Gomi Nowa, Babawa, Gom Governor, Ajimobi. It's only pay or non look pay one while I see for you. And you pay it back or for it. We have pay all speed to tell my lot, tell my work at me. What a wag, the one said they go. We have a lot of right of Pobitati law, or to a middle to pay at round. We have a what he say, a told you food, a toy, a toy, a some of the beneficiaries who spoke with BCS News commended the present administration for the kind gesture to elongate their lives. Over 60,000 people of your state are expected to benefit from the free health program. Senator Abiola Ajimobi, his deputy chief Moses Adeyemo, and Oshun State Deputy Governor Mrs. Titila Itomori all had their blood pressure checked. And on the same day, the state governor continued with assessment of flooded areas by visiting the Premier University to commiserate with them over their loss during the flood. The flood inspection team of the state governor, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, has extended its visit to the University of Ibadan, where he commiserated with the institution over their loss during the six-hour rainfall of last Friday. Senator Abiola Ajimobi was conducted around the affected places by the Vice Chancellor of the institution, Professor Fala Ronsho Adewale. The inspection team visited the University of Ibadan Fish Pond, where fishes worth about 5 million naira were swept away by the flood. The team was also taken to Ajibode Bridge, which is under construction by the University of Ibadan. The bridge was also swept away by the flood. Senator Abiola Ajimobi, who had earlier described the flood as a disaster of the highest magnitude to, to before the state, also visited the Polytechnic Ibadan, where the rector of the institution, Professor Sheikh Ngodunola, conducted the governor around some of the damaged infrastructure that are worth several millions of naira. Senator Ajimobi also extended his assessment visit to the LA Water Works, 
where it was revealed by the general manager of the corporation, Mr. Isaac Olalinya, that the flood disaster never originated from LA LA Water Works, has been speculated in some quarters. Mr. Olalinya explained that the volume of water on the day in question was too much to be accommodated by the dam, hence the water overflows the dam. He added that most of the facilities at LA LA Water Works were also affected by the flood. It will be recalled